Where should you look for jobs after you finish the SFT? If you want to get hired, you have to be creative. In a way, you don't really stand a chance compared to other applicants that have computer science degrees. So you have to be creative. Don't look for a job on LinkedIn. Don't look for a job on Glassdoor. Every single job that I've applied to over there, I notice that there are another 150 people applying for the same job. If you want to catch fish in the ocean, you're not going to go fishing where there's another 10 mass vessels with giant nets and you're fishing with two rods it doesn't work like that if you want to catch any fish you're gonna to have to go sail wherever there are no other big boats there I mean that's just simple math so if you want to get noticed and you want to get hired you need to apply for jobs that are advertised in other places for example Craigslist your local community's job board if in your area there is such a thing as a technology campus a massive building full of startup companies go check check over there. You need to be applying for jobs out of the box. So example number one is Craigslist. Craigslist is a great resource. It is definitely a local job board. There's a separate Craigslist site for most cities in America and they are looking for CS people. I mean, here's an example for a job post for a full stack engineering role. Now in the education, they do require a BS or MS degree, but they don't specify that that degree should be in computer science. So if you're able to talk your way into this job, if you're able to show them that you are very proficient in computer science, that you have made and coded up a couple of solid apps, that you have collaborated with other coders and that you're a team player, you should be able to apply for this job. You should be able to get this job. And the best part of it is that the salary is between $120,000 and $160,000. Here's another one, software engineer. Now, it looks here like they're looking to fill two different positions. One is a software engineer and the other one is a test engineer. I don't see anywhere over here that they require you to have a computer science degree if you can show them that you meet these requirements if you can show them that you're a good team player and that you can learn new skills quickly you should be able to get this job one note here if a job says that they're looking for someone with five years of experience how do you get around that you don't you just pretend like they didn't ask you that question if they ask you if you have five years of experience you're gonna tell them that you have so much experience I build all these different things don't address the five years apply for the job anyways even if you only have one year of experience because in these job posts companies put here what their ideal candidate looks like now we don't live in a perfect world and neither do companies so we all know that the ideal candidate does not exist what you have to show them is that you are the correct candidate for this position and that you can complete the job that they're asking you to do now here i have another example of a job post for a senior developer i think senior developer is a position that is harder to apply for especially if you only have one year of experience the senior developer position his job really is to establish what the big picture of the project is what what are all the features that the project needs to have and then he assigns developers to work on those features over here i only see really the only requirement is three years of symphony and php mvc frameworks if you can prove to them that you have what it takes and that you can fulfill all these requirements i don't see why you can't get this job and this is an example of a job that was posted on a local job board which they're not going to get as many applications as posting this job on linkedin on linkedin they're just going to get spanned with 300 applicants you're never going to hear back from these people you want to focus on two things you want to look and apply for jobs in places where you feel like there's less competition so try to figure out what are those out of the box places you can go look for jobs and in parallel you need to be working on your cv and you need to be working on your interview skills i have a separate video that i talk about how to make a cv after cs50 follow the instructions over there and try to apply for as many jobs as you can and when you get to the interview process treat each interview as a next step towards your goal just treat it as a learning experience don't have any expectations from it try to do your best obviously and you'll notice that after you do a couple of interviews you will eventually get pretty good at interviewing and you will be able to get a job